Hey guys, it's Miss Lynn uh, coming to talk to you guys again. Now last week I know that we talked about um, July 4th and Independence. And since um, when I talked to you last Sunday, um, July 4th wasn't until Saturday, which is when I'm doing this today. And then it'll be aired tomorrow or whenever you might see it today. But so I got the flag again. And as we all know, the flag is made up of three colors, red, white, and blue, right? I know y'all know that. Um, I'm going to lay it down right there. Okay. It says, but we celebrate Independence Day on Saturday, July 4th. Um, it's our country's birthday. Um, and as you know, our, our, like I just said, our flag is red, white, and blue. And if, if you ever stop to think about those three colors that our flag is, uh, red stands for courage. I think I didn't really even know what the colors did for. I know that um, the first, you got seven red stripes for the for, uh, seven, um, there's 13 original colonies and the, the whites for the other six make 13. You got the, the blue, it's got the stars for each state. So I knew that. But red um, on this uh, devotion here says that red stands for courage. Many men and women have had the courage to stand up and fight for our country. They have defended our country against our enemies and many have died for the service for the country to give us freedom. Uh, white stands for purity, and purity means to do what's right. So we hope and pray that our country always stands up and does the right thing. Uh, we need to pray for our country that we will continue to do that, that we that our leaders will be voted in, that will always stand up and do the right thing. And the blue stands for justice. When we pledge allegiance to the flag, we end with the words, with liberty and justice for all. And that means that in our country, everyone should be treated fairly and with respect. So it doesn't matter, man, woman, child, Old person, young person, tall, short, red, yellow, black, or white, doesn't matter, color or anything like that, nationality, that um, we should all be treated fairly and, and with respect in our country. So the colors red, white, and blue remind me of our country, but those colors also remind me of Jesus. Red reminds me of Jesus' blood that was shed when he died on the cross for, for my sin, and that's very important. Uh, because without the shedding of blood, there would be no forgiveness. And that's found in Hebrews 9.22. And the white reminds me that when I gave my heart to Jesus, he washes me. And uh, I become as white as snow. So it, that's like pure, That's what we're talking about, purity. We become white as snow. Um, the Bible says you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's found in 1 Corinthians 6.10. And blue reminds me of God's faithfulness. The Bible tells us that if we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just, and that he will forgive us of our sins and make us clean. That's found in 1 John 1 and 9. God is faithful to keep his promises always. Red, white, and blue. So that helps, you know, that does remind us of our country, right? Our great country. But more importantly, it reminds us of Jesus, right? He's our great Savior. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have the hope and promise that when... Um, when either the rapture takes place or when we, it's, it's time for us to die, that we know we're going to get to heaven and live with him, right? Because he's forgiven us of our sins. And um, I know that's just another little devotion about uh, independence and all that. But hope you guys stay safe. If you want to shoot firecrackers and everything and the fireworks, hopefully you can find some. If you're not shooting them yourself. And me and Anna and Mr. Eddie want you to know how much we love you guys and we miss you. It's still good to see you at church when we get to see you there and uh, everything but we just want you to know that uh we'll be looking forward to seeing you soon hopefully at church on the 5th july 5th okay all right we love you guys bye